Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and today I'm using a die that I've had in my stash for quite a few months, but I don't think I've really talked to you about. I want to give you the opportunity to learn from my shopping mishaps, because this seems to be something that I do quite a bit, and I, I don't know that I've talked to you about it a lot, but I am terrible at buying dies. I for the most part, just buy my dyes at Tuesday morning, which works out okay for me because I can see them in the package and they're not very expensive. But I am terrible at really reading the fine print and paying attention when I buy dyes. Let me give you some examples. This is Sizzix Framelits. Has some pictures right here, up here in the corner, okay? And it shows these things on the front and it says 13 dies. And when you flip over a package like this, you can see how they're laid out. And I don't recall exactly how this one was laid out, but I bought this mostly for this one. Those of you who watch my channel, you know that I like stars. I bought it for the sentiment within the star. So the shine bright with the neat border. And I liked the dots. I probably would have preferred stitching, but it just, it adds interest. I have plenty of just basic star dies because I got a really inexpensive pack at Tuesday morning, but I liked these, so I bought it. When you look at them, this is a pretty good size for me, okay? That's the size of the whole star with the border on this package. But when you read the fine print, which you should always do when you're buying dies, it says images are shown at 70%. Image shown at four lines lower, it says in tiny print, 70%. So they've shown all the languages and then the percent down here. Well, I liked the size that it was. I make a lot of cards and I liked it. Also, it was a girls beach weekend and we all had our sidekicks with us. If you take this die that says shine bright and you run it through a cutter, you get this shine bright it's pretty neat. You could use it on a card. You could put it in the center and take a circle punch and cut it out that way, but you can't use this. Okay. So I handed it to my friend Noni because I was fed up with it. And then she figured out these two go together. So you take some of your fabulous purple tape and you can use washi tape too. The reason that people use the purple tape is it never tears your paper. Not once have I ever had it damage paper. And sometimes if I grab a different washi tape off my counter, some will damage paper that I tape to and some won't. And they might, the same washi tape might react differently on different papers. So I think this roll of tape is about $7. I asked for it last year for the holidays. Okay, so to use this die, you have to tape it down. And you have to look at, did you get it centered? If you watch my channel a lot, you know, I don't even like to tape my dies down. I'd rather just put it on a piece of paper and run it through. So you have to tape it. Also, here's my biggest problem with not reading the labels and paying attention, okay? This is how big this is. This is my cutting plate for my sidekick. See those corners? So to use, this and get it to say shine bright and have a border like shown on the package, I have to use my Big Shot, which means it did not work on Girls Beach Weekend and I always have to get my Big Shot out to use it. So pay attention when you buy dies. Just really read the label. If you can, open the package and see how big it is. I have a tendency to buy fonts that are too spindly that I don't like because I didn't get to see them up close. Now look at this. This thing is cute. I'm not going to lie to you. When it works, it's cute. Okay, but I would have much rather preferred a one piece die that cut that out instead of having to tape the two. And I also would have liked it a little bit smaller. But look how cute it is. Think about your dies and embellishments and things you have in your stash that work for Christmas or the holidays, even though they're not holiday themed. Shine bright. This isn't for holidays. I'm going to use it for holidays, right? Super cute. So think about that. Here's another example. Some brands, when you buy a die, it's in a package, so you don't see it at all. Tonic, they cover them up about halfway and you kind of have to jiggle them and figure out how big that is. 
I like to be able to look at my dies. Like this, I can see four of them. Maybe not those. Keep that in mind when you're shopping, especially if you're paying full retail. Let's see, you guys. Look, 17 I paid $17 for this. Okay, I like stars. I'm not distraught, but it's not how I imagined it. Keep that in mind when you're asking for holiday gifts and also when you're shopping. And really, really look at your dies because dies are something that can get super expensive, right? And sometimes the way they show things on the package is not what you get. Like these, I should have figured out when you use these dies, you get exactly what is shown here. You get this piece cut off, not the ruffly edge on your piece of paper like I want. Okay? And again, I don't know how much, but that was probably like 20, right? So keep that in mind and really look carefully at your dies. And I am intrigued by I love my Sidekick, you've heard me talk about it, but there are a couple of machines that have a cutting plate. This is only two and a half inches wide and I think about five inches long. There are some that are three by six. We Are Memory Keepers makes one and, oh, that stamp brand that I like, you guys. Alta New, they make one too. So there are die cutting machines that have a three by six plate. I haven't used them. I don't know if they're as smooth and wonderful to use as a sidekick, but I'm very curious about them and would love to hear from you on them. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye.